Muy buena gente, bienvenidos a otro vídeo del canal Como os prometí, aquí tengo a la Dalida Oscura Bueno, realmente la oscuridad, ¿vale? Porque la he ascendido Y vamos a traer aquí la continuación del sur de media Aquí tenéis el equipito para que podáis ver cómo va Y todo, bueno, lo que tiene la cantidad de basura que tengo en el inventario Y en este vídeo vamos a averiguar un poquito más sobre El libro de Cartian, las descendientes de Cartian Y toda la parte mágica del de legado de hechicería en Tarif Been a while since we had any visitors without a torch in hand, ready to drive us all out. Or worse. Heard from Sarma Anin to be expecting you. I never expected Elezra to turn out like this. Still, I found and raised her. I take responsibility for the damage she's caused. The tree behind me is Nantusa Letusa. Take a look, if you please. We'll talk further after. Nantusa Latusa originally kept the Book of Cartian sealed. Cartian created Tarif as a safe haven for sorcerers who were being persecuted. But he was aware just how fearsome his own powers were. So when he left, he sealed them within the Book of Cartian. You can learn more about this by speaking to Alan Serbin. Hello there. I've been waiting here for you for forever. Sorry, painting humor. I wish they'd hang me up somewhere else. I could definitely use a change in scenery. Just I'm not really a painting, you know. You ever see a painting with a mind of its own? I'm just stuck in this godforsaken frame and everything. Can you even imagine how I have to go about eating and doing post-eating business? Are you still listening? Sorry, talk too much. I can't help but get a bit excited to meet someone new. You can imagine how things can get, being hung up in one spot for so long. Anyway, I know why you're here. I was the one who sealed the Book of Cartian in Nantusa Letusa. The powers within the book are indeed alluring to any sorcerer, but it has brought nothing but death and destruction to all who attempted to wield them. This is why the Book of Cartian became forbidden. Every new chief of Tariff reinforces the seal to keep its power sealed away from the next generation. After Elezra took the book, I thought she wouldn't be able to contain its powers, but I was wrong. We knew she was a genius, but we didn't expect anything like this. We haven't been able to figure out her secret. Ahoni Akirus wanted me to help prepare for any contingencies. But anything is possible with Elezra. We may have lost the book, but we will do anything we can to fight back. Nice to hear that Alan Serban is ready to take action. It's a relief he's been able to move past the guilt he's been feeling over his past friendship with Elezra. The Book of Cartian can only be sealed through Nantusa Letusa. It's likely Elezra has reappeared to get rid of the tree. Once that threat is gone, there will be nothing to stop her. Wandering rogues recently pledged their allegiance to Elezra, and I've heard that they're on their way here. Did you meet Broram just outside the village? Broram offered his services for some reason, should you need them.
You've arrived! I knew I could count on you! Going to give Elezra a pounding, aren't you? You have to avenge us! My wife saw Elezra take the Book of Cartian from Nantusa Letusa. I would have helped her, but I was sleeping. She went after Elezra by herself without saying a word. Her arms, legs. I got there in time only to see her body disintegrate piece by piece. I would give, but I digress. If you're out to get Elezra, make sure you have everything you need. I'd happily leave everything for a chance to fight Elezra myself. If you find where she's hiding, let me know. And I'll help you with whatever you need. Just say the word. There is no greater purpose for me than seeing her gone for good. You'll find Kasula Farm in that direction, over there. I have a friend there who can help you. Zaramas, I hope you're well. Zoromus, it is not safe here. Wandering rogues coming. <laughs> what a surprise. When did you get here? Have you come to check up on Zoromus? I am an adventurer as well. I meant to stay for a bit, but then I noticed the wandering rogues had an encampment nearby. But Zoromus here seems dead set on working on his sculptures. But he's also deaf, so what if he doesn't even know they're coming? <sighs> he won't be able to hear you no matter what. Not sure if you're aware, but that's how being deaf works. People said he lost his only granddaughter during the three days of darkness. Well, I still owe the guy for the free nights I just spent here, so I don't suppose I can just leave now. I was actually trying to repair the house right now as payment. And you seem dependable enough. Want to give me a hand? I could make use of some rugged boulders and light timber, if you come across any. Curious about what work Zaramas is nearly sacrificing his life for? He makes sculptures of Kasula. Kasula, the god of travels, is known to be quite the trickster. He loves seeing people get lost, so he makes people lose their way. He uses these tricks to boast control over his territory. Perhaps Zoramas thinks if he honors Kasula, then Kasula will allow his granddaughter to find her way back to him. You're heading towards the wandering rogues? I saw another stranger heading that way. You're heading towards the Wandering Rogues? I saw another stranger heading that way. Fancy seeing anyone else in these parts. I thought I was the only one crazy enough to check this place out. I think we've met before. I saw you with Maldi Budar. You a fighter then?
look stronger than me. Should have buddied up with you back in Altinova. Who am I? I serve in the Black Leopard Corps. Haven't been this social in a while. Okay, on with the favor. Here as part of a delegation to establish stronger ties with media. A soldier turned pseudo diplomat, I guess. But don't worry. We know an act of aggression from any country could trigger another war. No, the wandering rogues were here. They don't even feel human. Can our power change people this much? days of darkness and what it could mean for Valencia. If this is all just power someone attained, there's little that could convince them to not use it again. Ezra knew exactly what she was doing. People are too afraid to speak her name now. Hang on! Looks like we've got another round with the wandering rogues. And they seem a bit better prepared. They're bandits, but they're well prepared. The rogues are right behind you! In the absence of the royal family, Media has maintained neither order nor a viable military. Ilesra may have ruined the country, but she's also the only thing standing in the way of neighboring countries that wish to claim Media for themselves. An ironic twist, wouldn't you say? She destroyed them, but is now inadvertently keeping other enemies at bay. We've never had a darkness like this before. Who could have thought such power existed? If this happened in Valencia, I've come to verify Elezra's whereabouts. Gotta stay vigilant. from a different land. 
In this territory, we are one and the same. Perhaps that's why I felt I could speak freely with you today. I also sense dignity in your actions and in how you carry yourself. But prove me wrong, and I'll make you regret ever crossing me. We found their base of operations. Let's continue on. never relying on others, but you really are something else. Here's hoping my own training helps me reach your level one day. You aren't the only ones curious about this place. Over there! Seems like some mercenaries came through here. We should hurry. Can't have anyone else taking what's rightfully ours. There must be some kind of object. The obsidian altars are kept under careful guard. You take care of the wandering rogues. Could this crescent-shaped figure be a symbol of Ilesra? There must be a leader in their group making them into these things. And look over there. Some more bozos look like they're ready for a fight. We can spare a bit more time making mincemeat out of a few more rogues before facing their leader, can't we? There's so many of them. They won't meet us head on this time. It's the Shroud Knights. They're surrounded by rogues. I can't thank you enough for saving us. Hmm? Yes, I am a Shroud Knight, but how did you know? You're certainly not from around here. Uh, 
Ah, so you've met Sarma Anin. Wait, who is that with you? Some questions are best left without answers. I'm sure you'd rather not make a scene. Why don't you just follow the adventurer? Personal guard of the royal family. The royal family no longer exists, but they insist on clinging to their former title. Can they really not accept how things have changed? Finally, it looks like we're in the right place. Those goons were really starting to bore me. But something is off about the energy here. It feels dark, vicious, like being in That has to be Elezra's servant. You still up for it? Can't even be surprised anymore. Thanks for your help. Maybe I'll see you in Valencia someday. Was hoping I'd find Elezra, but it looks like she's too well hidden for anyone to find her. See you later, adventurer. My apologies for being late. You have my gratitude for saving our scout. If only we could gather the remaining Shroud Knights scattered throughout Media. I've heard the Black Tear can help keep Elezra at bay. Procuring one could be vital to coming out of this mission alive. In ways. You found a letter about the Black Tear. What did it say? Oh no. If this is true, we've been playing right into evil's hands. We must immediately tell Ahoni Akiris. I've heard as much about the Black Tear's supposed protective capabilities. 
but a quick examination revealed them to be little more than pebbles. I must speak with Proram, the trade manager, to see if it's possible to secure enough goods. As soon as I find Elezra, I'll tear her apart with my bare hands! Oh, it's you. Have you found her yet? And what's with this sudden interest in the Black Tears? Don't tell me you've also been duped by them too! Oh, you think you can find Elezra with them? Well, I hope you've saved up a fortune. Even I'm just barely able to buy one. If you're looking for financial help, you could always talk to Monty Otto at Otto Farms. He'll need some convincing, though. Man's a real penny pincher. Monty, what do you want? You came from Tariff? I'm sure those witches are sitting pretty compared to what we're dealing with over here. Not that I could do anything for them, if so, I can barely take care of myself. It's fallen on us to feed any nearby military personnel in need of care. For free, mind you. How am I supposed to make a living off of freeloaders? Royal guards? Pfft, that's old news! And I suppose you're wanting something from me too. Don't bother asking. Get these freeloaders off my farm and we can talk. I'm tired of that old man's yapping. I get that he's upset, but we have nowhere else to go. We've served the royal family our whole lives, but it was all taken from us. What else are we supposed to do? The prince would have our heads. We did what we had to do. We even helped around the farm. You see the watermill? We had to risk our lives. Picked off the stragglers, that's all. We could expect that much from our trainees, you know. If it was just me, I would have left. But I have people here depending on me. We're more than happy to contribute. I also keep a lookout. Well, at least you're worth a lot more than those oaves taking up space. Ahoni Akira sent you here on important business. Why are you just standing around? You're here on a request from the chief. Why didn't you tell me? I can't have her thinking I was ignoring her. But what does she want with me anyway? Money to buy black tears? What does she want a useless rock like that for? I'm busy trying to make something of these barren lands, but nothing is growing because of those stupid manes. If you help me with those manes, I might be able to help you get your hands on a black tear. Adventurer, I will be tagging along. My sacks of seeds all disappeared. It had to be the mains. They've caused nothing but trouble here. 
Huh? What are you doing here? Hell of a place to be running into each other. I'm the accessory vendor, Look. My village relies on me quite a bit to keep things running. Not the least of which is setting the standard for good looks. <laughs> I'm not only a vendor, you know. I also work as an instructor for apprentice sorceresses. I came here because the promotional test will be held soon, and I need to find the right spot for it to take place. Monty Otto sent you here, did he? The mains seem like they'd be a bit too dangerous for someone like you. Ah, well, who am I to stop you? Try to take out a couple of them if you're feeling crazy. ready to come bail you out, but you didn't do half bad. Don't worry about the sorceresses. It's actually the other way around. Those mains should be fearing for their lives. Nothing more dangerous than a sorceress in training. Truth be told, I came to make sure they could handle the mains all right. We can't afford to lose anyone in times like these. We have to be safe. This place was rife with trees and wildlife. The mains destroyed the entire area. doing here. I thought she was quite adamant about staying in town. The big sacks have all disappeared. Brora must have thrown them out and the main snatched them. Are you two still fighting? Just leave it be. We have bigger things to worry about. Traveling back and forth just to help you guys deal with your crap is dangerous enough. Let alone the mains right in front of us. Another path. It's a suspicious tunnel.
This can work as the test site. But we have way more mains than I was expecting. Finland, did you find those seed sacks? Never mind, I got it. Thanks to the adventurer here. Speaking of seeds, why don't we plant some trees here? Hey, over here! This looks like a good place to start. I'm worried they'll uproot the trees. Let's finish off what mains are left. be up to something while I'm gone. I should be getting back myself. And off she goes. Where are you headed to? You'll find the cave of the mains just over there. That's the one place we tell our apprentice sorceresses to stay away from. Seems to be a base of sorts for them. But if you're curious, I can lead you in. I'm still curious to see how capable you are. I'll stay on the sidelines and talk about the cave as we go. Think of me as a tour guide. Cave of the Mains. I used to love going out on my own adventures and discovering places I only knew about. I was an adventurer, like yourself. Finding places like this was what I lived for. We could use it as a shelter from sandstorms. Guess you haven't been around long enough to know. A sandstorm is getting ready to hit Altinova. Dark energy is the cause of it. Creatures roaming about during stormy weather. Digging underground caves to escape the outside is normal for the mains. But if they made something this extensive, it could indicate an incoming natural disaster. It might explain why they're staying inside the cave. We should explore the cave thoroughly and see what else we can find.
I'll look around. They're hurling rocks! Media can feel more arid at times, but we've never had a full sandstorm hit us. We should get some seeds from Finland and plant some more trees. Feels different, doesn't it? Definitely best to have the test outside. Let's check out the end of the cave. Feel that energy. It feels like a Lazarus. Damn, that's a pity. I was hoping to let loose with you in here. <laughs> well, a Lazarus influence or not, there are way too many mains here. Population control is vital to our survival. I'll check it out later. Montiato sent you over here, right? Let's drop by the village then. Never seen those before in the village. What are they? Pues hasta aquí el capítulo todo de hoy. Espero que os haya gustado. La verdad, a mí que esta clase me puto flipa. Y aquí, como veis, tenemos el 79% hecho del sur de media. Vale, con este personaje haremos hasta el 4% del norte de media, que es donde tendré esperando a mi querida Graja. Vale, mi main. Así que pórtense mal.